what is your view of what is now happening at the hospital? Well, I'm, I'm worried um, by, the lack of, by the lack of any news or the lack of any statement. However, uh, there are reports that she's uh, in a reanimation area of the hospital, which suggests that maybe um, she is in a slightly more serious condition than, than we had thought before. I think it is slightly disturbing that we haven't had some sort of official communique giving, her, giving the state of her health and uh, giving some indication of, of what might happen next. Um, I don't think that's a terribly encouraging sign. As I say, superficially, concussion, a broken arm, and lacerations of the thigh shouldn't give enormous cause for concern. But uh, one wonders if one is being told the whole truth at the moment. Stephen, I have to interrupt there um, because within the last few moments, the Press Association in Britain, citing unnamed British sources, has reported that Diana, Princess of Wales, has died. This is not yet confirmed by any official source. So an unconfirmed uh, source from the Press Association is that Diana, Princess of Wales, has died. And as soon as there is any further news, we will bring it to you. Stephen Jessel, our correspondent in Paris, you heard that information from unnamed British sources quoted by the Press Association. Yes, and I have a terrible feeling that this is, this is true. Um, I don't think the Press Association, which is a reputable body, would have put out this information. Uh, but at the moment, um, all I can say is that uh, if there were two people in that car who were killed in the crash and one extremely badly injured, it would not be on the face of it uh, particularly surprising if the fourth person in the car had also been very badly injured, even to the